بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الرسول. I wake up this morning and you see that it's raining outside and your body tells you, man, just take a break, don't do it. And the reality is that that's a lie. Right? Your body, your mind tells you, stop, relax, it's okay, you deserve a break. Do you deserve a break? You know yourself. Do you deserve a break? Well, did you even start to deserve a break? Where are you in your life right now? <clears throat> so you go out and you realize that most people didn't come. The normal crowd, the regular cloud, crowd that comes when it's sunny didn't show up. And then you ask yourself why. Why didn't they show up? Because of the rain. See, in many instances, the rain is used as an example. Right? People say, after the rain comes the sun, or you know, some rainy days and the sunny days, to show you know, days being negative, days being positive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala usually uses the rain to give us a representation of goodness, of khair, resurrection, coming back to life, drive, energy, strength, force. <clears throat> the reality is though, a lot of us stop when the rain hits us we stop so it's nice to show up when it's sunny very nice ah but when it's rainy when it's not so easy not everyone wants to come out and play isn't it it's nice when it's sunny everyone wants to go to the park to the beach everyone wants to get some sun but when there's some difficulty people stay in and that's when you realize what you're made of Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you that you are going to have problems in your life. You are going to suffer. I'm telling you, you're going to get knocked out the first time. And maybe you're going to be able to get up. Sadly, a lot of people cannot. They fall into depression, anxiety. But... Let's say you get up the first time. I'm telling you that you're going to get down a second time. You're going to knock down again. You are going to get knocked out again a second time. And you need to get up. Can you get up another time? Most people cannot. And you know what they say? Oh, this already happened to me. What can I do? I just, I'm so tired of this life. You got knocked down twice in your life and you're tired of this life? The Prophet ﷺ said, look at the one above you, I mean below you, not the one above you. Look at what other people in the world are suffering, how many times every single day is a knockout for them. Yet they still get up. Why do they get up? Because they don't find excuses. There's actually no excuses around them. They look around, all they can see is bombs, shelling, lost, suffering, and they find no excuses. And they say, well, it is what it is. I still got to do my best. That's the attitude that you want to develop. The attitude of a survivor, not a victim. A survivor. The, the choice is yours though. You are going to choose. Do you want to be a survivor or a victim? Do you want to be a fighter or a complainer? Just someone always complains and tries to put the blame, a blamer. And the blamers are not good. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells shaitan will be blaming and telling people, Why are you blaming me? Blame yourself, don't blame me. What do you want to be? That's your choice. I say you be the fighter. I say you be the survivor. I say you be the strong one. I say you be the one who keeps fighting and keeps going. And you're gonna go down again. You're gonna get knocked out the third time. And the fourth time. And you gotta get up. And maybe the fifth time. 
and you gotta get up. And the tenth and the hundredth time, it doesn't matter how many times you're gonna get knocked out. I don't know what it is. A divorce, loss of a job, lack of resources, finances, a disease, a loss, as Allah says. I don't know. But what I know is that you need to get up. And that's what the Qur'an teaches us. That's what Islam teaches us. How are we reading the Qur'an and Islam? We need to get up. Don't be afraid. We cannot control the circumstances around us, brothers and sisters. But what we can control is how we feel about them. That's our struggle, daily struggle against your thoughts against your shaitans, against your mind, your negativity. That's what you got control over. You have to keep fighting. You must fight. If the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba would have given up, we would have not had Islam. If Ahmed ibn Hanbal would have given up, we would have had a total different understanding of the Qur'an. If Muhammad bin Qasim would have given up, you Pakistanis and Indians and Bangladeshis, you would not have Islam. If Tariq ibn Ziyad would have given up, there would have been no, no such thing known as Al-Andalus. If Muhammad Fatih would have given up, there will be no such thing as Istanbul. Istanbul. Ha. All these people, what they've done, because they didn't look for excuses, they left legacies. Let's mention even the sister, Fatima Fihri al Qarawin in North Africa, in Morocco, University, Salahuddin al Ayubi, al Quds, and, and, and. This is, these are their legacies. And we've taken them over our generation. And come on, let's compare to what they've left and what we've done with them. Are we proud? Can we say we've handled these legacies properly? No. Why not? Because we find excuses all the time. We blame someone all the time. Because we get knocked out so easy. In a fight, the greatest skill you can develop is not just a strong attack. It's to know and to be able to take a punch and two and three and four. Yes, you defend yourself. Yes, you have a strong attack. But the most important thing is that if you do get clipped and hit, and you will in life, I guarantee you that this will happen. As Allah says, Allah will test us. So Allah is guaranteeing you that you will get hit. The thing is, can you take a hit? How do you develop that ability. Ah, you train yourself. Your thoughts. You stop making excuses. Stop focus, Stop focusing on others and start focusing on yourself. Work hard on yourself and not others. Stop being negative. Connect to the Quran and the Hadith of the Prophet ﷺ to see the lessons. Connecting does not mean just reading. It means finding purpose in these messages. Meaning, seeing how you can take lessons for today, not for 400 years ago. Now, for you, the Quran is not meant just as a book of history. A'udhu Billah. It is a book of life. It is a book of life. Now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says 
When he calls you, when he calls you to that which gives you life, وَعَلَمُوا and know أن الله الله سبحانه وتعالى يحول بين المر وقلبه الله comes in between a man and his heart yes a man and his heart so that's how you develop strength focus on yourself work hard stop making excuses you're gonna get out get up get up get up get up don't give in you'll see you'll be fine inshallah you'll work hard inshallah don't give up your mind ask Allah there is no victory except with Allah now protect us and help us and guide us Ameen Share this with others that you love to help them get motivated and know that after you get knocked out you should stand up and never give up.